Hi, my name is Mr. Brussel, and, and I'm your, uh, your student's uh, science teacher for this year. It's ninth grade science. It's, it's titled Principles of Science. It's a preparatory course mostly for biology, chemistry, and physics, which I'll get in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Uh, this has been definitely a very uh, unusual start to our school year. And I ask the students, and I'm going to ask the same thing from you, have patience and communicate. That way we can nip any problems in the bud and uh, hopefully solve any problems before they become a real issue. Uh, so today I just wanted to uh, go over a couple of uh, things that I went over with the students the first day of school and, and let you have an idea of what, what the expectations are in my class. Uh, so let me get the PowerPoint started here and I'll uh, narrate as we go through. So as I said before, this is a preparatory course for uh, chemistry, physics, and biology, uh, and it's a required course for graduation. Uh, as you know, the schedule, it's really weird as a teacher, and I'm sure your, your children and, and you are, are, are struggling with this schedule also, uh, where we see half the class on Monday and Tuesday while the other half is online, and then Thursday and Friday I see the other half of the class. Um, and then Wednesday, everybody's online. Um, I stress to the children that, that uh, they need to be logged in at the start of the appropriate class time. Uh, and uh, if they're not, I have to mark them absent. Uh, so please uh, try to uh, stress to your, your kids to be, be on time uh, to classes uh, when they're online. They're doing really well with wearing the masks. Um, I, I really can't have a problem. They're probably doing better than I do with the mask. Um, they're doing pretty good with the social distancing inside the classroom. Uh, the hallways, it's very, very difficult. Uh, most days I try to get them outside um, for, for a five or ten minute uh, outside break so they can remove their mask and breathe some fresh air. So, so far they've been doing pretty good. I do have to remind them to maintain the six feet uh, when they're outside. So we started out the year looking at the metric system and measuring. Um, the metric system is so important because it is the universal language of science. Uh, so we, we really stress uh, the metric unit, the prefixes, how to convert within the metric unit, but also how to convert between our standard units, the units we use here in the United States, and the metric system. Uh, we looked at some uh, lab equipment and how to use lab equipment. Uh, we talked about accuracy, precision, scientific notation, and then probably a newest concept for them is significant figures. Uh, it's, a, it's an alien concept to most of them, um, but they, they, they caught on pretty well, so uh, you can rest assured there. We'll be moving into chemistry. As you can see, we have a couple things that, that we cover in chemistry. Uh, classification of matter, the periodic table, elements and their symbols. Uh, and it's not memorization, it's just learning how to read the periodic table. Uh, we learn how to, uh, what ionic compounds are and how they name them. We look at isotopes, the breakdown of, of atoms. And then we're going to look at some very simple chemical reactions type of chemical reactions, and uh, how we write chemical equations and balance out the chemical equations so that um, I always relate it to being like a recipe, so a chemist knows how to make a certain substance. Uh, we're actually in the energy unit right now, uh, looking at the types of energy We're doing ca uh, calculations on potential and kinetic energy right now. Uh, probably the most important aspect of this is the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, which we'll be hitting pretty hard when we get into the meteorology and astronomy part of the, the course. Uh, and then we're looking at fossil fuels and alternative energy sources and the importance of, of both of those. We're going to be looking at the atmosphere and climate. Um, the actual title of the court of that 
unit is called climate and climate change. Um, but we're going to be looking at the atmosphere. We'll look at weather, how to read weather maps, um, and the, the, the data that goes into weather maps, because that leads us then into understanding climate and climate change, the history of climate change from thousands of years ago to, to today. We've been looking at ecosystems, photosynthesis, and cellular respiration are the two primary um, things that we're going to stress there, and that relates right back to the chemistry unit. Um, and then we're going to look at Earth cycles, uh, the different types of cycles that we have on the Earth and how uh, the Earth kind of recycles all its matter. Uh, and tying in with that, then, is the law of conservation of matter. And then our last unit is space exploration, astronomy. Uh, we'll look at a little bit of historic, how we got to where we're at today. Uh, we'll look at some of the, the things that, that we're learning about the solar system. Uh, it's kind of exciting time about the solar system with our, our uh, missions that we're, we're starting to, to prepare for to go to Mars. Uh, and then we'll go into st to stars, our sun, and then stars in general. And then we're going to look at space exploration. Where were we uh, a long time ago? Where are we at today with uh, space exploring the reaches of space and looking at the future of space exploration? <clears throat> what they are going to be graded on? Um, Assignments. All our assignments uh, right now looks like they're all going to be on Schoology. We're, we're in the process of uh, trying to get all our paper assignments put onto Schoology. Uh, the, the district doesn't want us or wants us to limit our use of, of paper. Um, they have plenty of time to do assignments. So late work, um, you know, they, they need to get it done. And uh, I, I do cut some slack here and there, but they need to get in the habit of, of where late work is unacceptable. Um, we're going to do projects and labs. We're not quite sure how all that's going to look um, uh, because of the social distancing and the masks and, and all that. So we're, we're uh, still working on that. We have a lab scheduled uh, this week, um, the week of the uh, 21st, and we'll... Uh, see how that goes, but we're still struggling a little bit with that aspect of the course. Uh, quizzes, 25% um, of the, the marking period grade, so they carry, carry uh, quite a bit of weight. To study for uh, quizzes, you know, complete all the assignments and correct it when it's returned. They, and that's one of the things I'm seeing is that they're not looking at and they submit something, they're not looking at what they did and what they did wrong so they can fix the problems. Um, taking good classroom notes, but the big thing is studying. And I give them, we give them some electronic versions to study on, on StudyMate, on Schoology, and uh, a website called Quizzes kind of put, make studying into to games for them to, to hopefully keep their attention. Uh, but that should not be their primary study their, their assignments and their classroom notes. And then uh, we have unit tests. And um, there will be opportunities for retesting. And then in January, we're going to have a final exam. So uh, it's very important. And we'll have some time uh, right after our, uh, right around our winter break, I'll start talking a lot about the final exam and, and uh, how to study, what type of things to, to look for in your final exam, uh, because it's going to be a new experience for, for most of our students. So again, if you have any questions or concerns or problems uh, in the class, I do ask that you, you communicate that with me, um, either electronically, give the school a call, uh, and I'll, I'll try to, to uh, respond fairly timely manner. So once again, unfortunately, I can't meet you face to face right now, um, but I hope you found this, this presentation uh, somewhat uh, informational. Thank you very much.